Hi viewers, thanks for stopping by. Jean back with more Mars anomalies and artifacts. In this one we'll be looking at megaliths found in Kotka Crater on the Kanowski Asimov Ley Line. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know that uh, we discovered what may be a ley line on Mars connecting ancient ruins on a ley line guys similar to ruins on earth connected through ley lines on earth so this is a raptor zone saturn arc collaboration my channel in conjunction with saturn arc and i'll include the link to saturn arc's youtube channel below guys so this is the photograph we'll be analyzing and uh, NASA called it well-preserved 40 kilometer diameter unnamed crater near Tartarus region and uh, subsequent to that the crater has been named Kotka so I'll include the link to this NASA page in the description below as always guys and um, just to quickly do a brief overview the photograph was taken on the 27th of february 2008 very high resolution one by one binning 25 centimeters per pixel so the smaller objects i'll be showing you guys range between three meters and ten meters across and i'll be showing you cropped images from the jp2 black and white map projected file uh, 1.6 gigabytes but well worth the download guys so this is the area from the low res jpeg check out the signs of uh, liquid or water flow in the past all these gullies if i can call them that guys looks almost as if parts of this have been um, sunken into the surface somehow very similar to Asimov crater uh, the anomalies we find in the two are very very similar so this is Kotka crater on the left Asimov crater on the right guys so check it these signs of uh, previous water flow or liquid flow yeah and there guys and uh, if you've watched my previous video about the megalith or monolith found in Asimov, it's there guys. And uh, in this Kotka high rise we found what looked like uh, more of these massive blocks, possibly megaliths, monolith type, very similar to that found in Asimov guys, check out the texture and color very similar we've got uh, very straight lines right angles so there's one block there guys another one here partially buried and um, from the side I could see there it's between 23 and 30 odd meters across or wide which is very similar to this one here guys which is approximately 33 meters wide so have we stumbled across another one of these maybe two of these that are buried and only those parts are sticking out guys pure speculation as always so in summary the uh, the ley line starts here at the south pole where we've got those sculptures of what looked like elephant heads ears and tusks over here guys check that out and uh, at Asimov just next to the ley line we've got this giant monolith same proportions as the ones uh, in the Arthur C. Clarke novels and movies Kanowski crater, we've got this Kanowski arch, what we call the Kanowski arch guys. 
then at uh, Stokes Crater on the ley line as well as on the same 56 degree north line as Kanowski. We've got uh, more structures guys. It looks like a, a dome maybe that collapsed. That there like a wall maybe that collapsed, fell over. Maybe even the foundation of a structure. And then guys from Stokes Crater following that ley line we get to Kotka Crater with these giant monoliths or megaliths. So does this ley line that we call the Kanowski Asimov ley line connect these ancient sites guys? Is it possibly a line that uh, was used by intelligent beings in the past to link these ancient structures not sure guys but uh, it's very intriguing the possibility so check out the similarity between uh, the Asimov monolith and uh, these partially buried megaliths or monoliths here yeah, guys so if you want to please stick around we'll go through other anomalies and artifacts found in the same high rise near the uh, megaliths guys so we're analyzing this area here and uh, this year looked rather artificial guys it looks like two metallic type of plates or uh, metal sheet metal partially buried in the sand there guys check out the very straight lines it looks uh, rather odd and not like a typical rock or boulder guys then the next one is over here it looks like another piece of sheet metal or plate that's been uh, ripped apart check at this end over here guys but another piece lying here could that be part of some tech I don't know guys part of a machine or craft perhaps check out the little dome in this circular feature there and guys coming back here look at the uh, the shape quite convex but that very very straight line running through there so was this perhaps uh, a craft or some type of machine off buried in the sand guys or could this be an entranceway to an underground habitat or shelter and then guys yeah we've got more multi-layered what could be uh, metal plates I'm not sure guys but it looks uh, quite mangled ripped apart check out the edges next anomaly is right there guys and it looks like another one of these strange disc like objects sort of half buried in the sand with a triangular feature on top so could that be part of a machine or a craft it's half buried guys and over here got two really strange anomalies guys over here but looks like rectangular tubes I don't know guys but maybe even part of a structure check out the features on it look at this piece over here guys could be either piece of pipe sticking out with an opening there or this could be another rectangular piece to it guys I'm not sure and it also looks as if a piece has been ripped off broken off maybe but really odd piece lying there as well like this funny H shape quite symmetrical 
And yeah, guys, uh, this thing looks rather mo like um, possibly big boulders, but then if you look at this part here, we've got like a rectangular opening. Check out those straight lines there, guys, with what looks like possibly a pipe coming out. And then we've got on top of this piece over here a little rectangular or square block with a little dome on it, a little hole, I'm not sure guys, it's rather small. And it also looks as if this has been ripped apart. Check this edge out here yeah, guys, was this possibly one piece, maybe of a machine, maybe a structure. There guys, we've got a very, very small anomaly. It looks like it could be a cylindrical craft. There's a dome here guys, another one there. Possibly a sphere. To the sides of this cylinder type of object there. And then a little dome on top guys. So, what could this be? Doesn't look like a, a natural rock that you would find in this area guys and even that there looks like another piece of metal around it could that be a disc like craft that crashed there check out the two smaller domes on top guys uniformly spaced so yeah could this be like a a cylinder with a dome on top and a sphere on the on each side guys this looks like uh, it could have either been a structure could be a shelter of sorts maybe even a destroyed machine really difficult to say guys but uh, check out the right angles very straight edges and lines we've got this T piece over here highly irregular, I don't think uh, rocks form uh, in these shapes guys could be wrong but uh, it does look highly artificial let me know what you guys think of these in the comments below please and also what do you guys think of our theory of this Kanowski Asimov ley line connecting the ancient sites together. It also runs through Sidonia, the Sidonia region, if I recall correctly. So that's another interesting observation. So, guys, yeah, check out uh, these anomalies over here. So, the first one. Not sure what to make of this guys, it looks like more sheet or plate metal, it's been smashed, crumbled up, bent, check out this piece here as well guys, it looks like corrugated sheet, more of these uh, squiggles over here, if I can call them squiggles. So yeah guys, what on earth could this be? Or what on Mars could that be? Okay, next anomaly is right here yeah, guys. Another piece of sheet metal perhaps. Check out the triangular piece there. there. So very straight edges also looks as if it could have been sort of ripped off another piece check out those artifacts there guys and we've got a looks like a rectangular side with a donut feature there guys and over here more circular objects as well Next piece is over there guys, it looks like more metal, 
it even looks as if uh, there's like a, a trench left over here where it possibly came in at a very low angle and impacted the side here guys check that out check that very could I call it a serrated edge okay yeah guys we've got what looked like uh, pieces of structure maybe technology type of machinery perhaps so the first anomaly let's see where it is guys so many of here that I'm going to be discussing okay this one looks like uh, it could be just natural maybe a rock sticking out I check it these strange shapes over here guys even over here we've got like two circular features the line running through the middle like a small dome over here another one there guys perhaps even could be a very thin piping running atop on top of this I know guys it looks uh, rather artificial although uh, if you look at it at uh, first glance it looks like um, possibly some type of metallic uh, lava type of rock I'm not sure but there's none of it around yet so it's quite, quite strange um, this area yeah guys check this out Th this looks like uh, metal sheet metal plating perhaps those two pieces especially and these look like um, maybe blocks of a structure there's a little pipe bent into a U shape lots of smaller pieces over here parts of a machine perhaps guys I don't know what that could have been but uh, also if you look at that guys and this strewn around here it looks uh, as if these were all part of something larger this yeah guys check this this out here this very straight line and next to it it looks like very narrow uh, piece of metal plate perhaps or it could be a pipe but that uh, is definitely well I think it's not a rock guys check out these uh, circular features here yeah? and then uh, a very straight edge angles off to a very straight edge again we've got another piece of pipe bent into a U a U shape there and another piece to it there guys I don't know what that could be In this over here, down here guys, check this out. Is this possibly an underground entranceway? Maybe a shelter of sorts? Check out this very straight piece over here. This very long, narrow, rectangular piece buried under the sand. And then on top of this, we got what looked like little symbols. maybe even smaller parts like circular features there this very odd bumpy line coming through this way and 
Now let's check this out. That little piece. Looks very overnight. Guys, yeah. Okay, let me just make sure. The first anomaly we're looking at. Where is it located, guys? Let me just quickly see. It's rather small. There, it's over here, guys. So I check this out. We've got like a, a triangular uh, piece here. And then it runs off on a rectangular side over there. And then over here, guys, we've got a really strange looking object. It's got a little dome or hole in the center. And then it's got what looks like uh, legs or arms coming off of it, almost like uh, jellyfish type of arms or legs. Not that that's what it is, guys, but check that out. Um, it's got like slots cut into it. It looks like these uh, pieces coming off, sticking out like uh, arms or tentacles. So it looks like a piece of uh, destroyed, smashed technology, machinery perhaps. This here, guys, looks like. <clears throat> Another one of those sort of discs, metal plate, sort of uh, bent, mangled, with uh, perhaps a little dome of the guys was so partially buried. That's located there. And then, guys, yeah, at the, this hole. Looks almost like a little mining operation. Check out the ground, the sand's been disturbed. And then we've got uh, very small parts of uh, the machine lying around here. Yeah. Looks like pipes. Check out that there, guys. It looks like a, a U shape there. Some more pipes over here, perhaps. There's another piece of pipe, T shape. Looks like piping, guys. I'm not sure. But also, it looks as if uh, there was quite a bit of activity here. Especially if you look at the way the uh, sand or the ground's been disturbed. I don't know if you can call it ground on Mars, but it's quite dark. Yeah, guys, so this here also looks pretty normal until you zoom in on that part. <clears throat> Check this out. We've got uh, what looked like two rectangular metal plates. Or maybe it's it's one piece with a slot cut into it, another slot cut into it there, or it's two pieces of sheet metal. Not sure, guys, but check out the uh, the small little parts over here. There's like a, a horseshoe shape over there. Another one here. Could that be pipes, part of a, a machine? Could this have been a, a machine of sorts that's been covered in sand? Maybe even a, a small underground entrance way or shelter. Guys, this whole area looks as if it uh, was mined, a big mining operation. But check out this. Um, could this have been a craft or a type of a machine? Check out it's rounded in the front and it comes down 
makes like a, I don't know, it's type of a, a circular feature over here, but look at this uh, line running through the middle there, guys. It's got like, it looked like domes, starting from small, bigger, bigger, bigger. There's a rather big one here, guys. So even that, look at those straight lines and right angles. Could this be uh, a circular piece at the base here, guys? It runs through underneath this arch, arching over here. I don't know guys, check this out, it looks like another, um, maybe a piece of metal that was placed over this to make like a little shelter or maybe it's another underground entranceway or little mining operation. But yeah guys, down at the bottom end of this what looks like a piece of metal plate that's running along the top there. Look at this triangular feature. It looks hollow like a container. Little balls in it. Very dark balls in it. Three perhaps. Check that out guys. Uniformly spaced. And there we've got a rectangular object. It looks as if uh, this is maybe a separate artifact. Maybe that was uh, the top of a machine, perhaps. I don't know, guys. But yeah. So it looks as if uh, this edge of this, um, what can we call it, a ridge, a ridge line, I don't know, it was uh, mined as well guys, check out the rectangular straight line, straight line, right angles, there's another triangular piece with a rounded apex sort of hollowed out over there with a little small dome and there guys you got what looks like a, a big gear they have three teeth over there I don't know looks rather strange okay my eyes over there got a really weird looking artifact could this have been a piece of metal plate it was folded over with a triangular piece sticking out there guys is this possibly a triangular object with this piece of rectangular metal sheet lying on top of it or could it be um, I don't know an entranceway again Not sure, guys. Part of a structure with destroyed machine. Okay, so over here, guys, check out this ridge line here. And these look like sort of blocks sticking out. Very much the same size, uniformly spaced in a relatively straight line and then this the surface over here 
looks as if it's been scraped or worked somehow check these lines running through here guys multiple parallel lines and then around it got what looked like machine parts there's a a donut shape there's a donut shape looks like piping over here more possible pipes over here there's two V shapes over there guys another piece of pipe running through there snaking through there okay the next anomalies are down here and what you've got is uh, maybe these were part of one object the break up or um, separated somehow guys but check out this rectangular object here with these rows of um, there I say it uh, little domes on top running through in rows check that out guys in there look like a V shape and this this edge looks really artificial guys a bit like a piece of metal plate that's been bent guys this too it looks as if this whole side has sort of been worked somehow top type of machinery has been used here perhaps and this section over here looks as if it's been uh, ripped open check that that piece there and that piece there guys that looks like sheet metal that's been uh, sort of torn or ripped apart and this as well guys check at those uh, those edges and around here we've got little parts as well really small parts of a machine perhaps okay guys over here this also looks as if it was possibly part of a structure so yeah check this out it looks like a doorway perhaps got an arch yeah, an opening there, guys. Check it. This quite symmetrical piece to it on the top. Yeah. That there, guys, looks like could have been uh, some type of rectangular block of sorts also rather damaged and bent this over here guys check out this long narrow rectangular piece and next to it there's a smaller uh, piece to it guys with what looks like a pipe coming off there maybe another pipe there guys joining to a triangular piece there could that be I don't know the top of a, a nut joining that to that is that just another small dome or hole what's that in the middle of that it's just rather strange seen so much of that <clears throat> go 
guys check out the straight line here yeah, it looks like another piece of bent sheet metal or plate okay so this area yeah this is normally check this out guys to rather normal looking rocks or boulders I guess but if you check up close look at this um, it looks like piping sticking out yeah uniformly sort of uniformly spaced and guys I don't know if this was a piece of uh, metal again check it the way it's, it's bent possibly I don't know guys maybe that's that's natural but this feature over here just looked rather strange even down here that looks like a, a symbol looks like an X looks like a, a W I don't know is this part of a, a structure or a building guys there another one of these uh, rather strange items this looks like very smooth flat piece of uh, metal but then it's got this could that be a triangular piece to it it's buried in sand there's a, a round circular feature there and there guys I don't know what that was. Maybe uh, hmm, another craft. I don't know. Guys, yeah, it looks like um, a little three sided pyramid. It's one side, yeah, another side there. And then this side, it looks as if uh, it was eroded somehow or maybe even machined guys check out the area there it looks like the other sites I've shown you quite dark and sort of worked machined somehow also it looks as if there's a small parts lying around here as well okay so the next area is way down here guys check this out got what looks like another piece of uh, sheet metal to the left of here partially buried this funny um, feature on top maybe those are pipes and then this to the right guys this rectangular shape with what could be a, a pipe coming off and bending up at 90 degrees and then uh, are these slots cut into it well, there's maybe pipes coming out and over there guys it looks like another piece of sheet metal or metal plate bent and smashed okay over there check out this piece um, if that was a piece of metal 
war machine that's being uh, totally destroyed. It looks like a piece of paper that's been crumbled up. Check out all these, uh, these, I don't know what to call them, um, folds, bends, rather than this yeah too. It just doesn't look like a, a normal rock. Guys uh, down there got uh, a rectangular front piece joining to a narrower rectangular piece with maybe an opening over here guys. So it looks smashed up. That guy's another possible little open pit mine type of arrangement. I'm looking at the anomalies there. Very small guys. Yeah, it looks like a pipe. Check it that snaking its way through there. Over here guys it looks like a rectangular object with uh, the sort of pipe coming off of it bending up this way and uh, possibly another little dome over there. Yeah, those look like uh, machine parts to me, guys. <clears throat> Check this out. This looks like a piece of metal. Check this out. A, um, sheet metal. This sharp edge. The way it's been bent. It sort of shine. Quite shiny as well. <clears throat> and then behind here... Another piece of metal. Could this be another little shelter, entranceway, or mine, mining operation? Check out this piece of sheet metal, yeah? It's bent into this wavy shape. There's a, a little V object lying next to it there. Another rectangular part to it, yeah. We've got a circular feature over there. Another horseshoe shape over here. Lots of little odds and ends lying around there, guys. Some more piping, perhaps. Okay, yeah, guys. This too, I'm not sure if that uh, is a piece of metal, part of a destroyed machine. This, uh, check out the 90 degree angles there guys then this edge it looks as if it's been ripped off something else and then that circular object underneath there even that looks uh, like a little dome type of object There guys, it looks like another disc-like object above buried in the sand. Another one of these little mining operations. Check out the machine parts in this guys. Yeah, we've got a rectangular opening. Could this have been the top of a container perhaps? As the one edge to it. 
the top piece there and yeah guys look at that object over here it's like got pieces sticking out like uh, I don't know like a starfish not that it is but it looks like these things sticking out from the center over there another u-shaped part yeah check that out guys looks like uh, this was part of a machine there's um, holes there this thing running along the top there's just so much to see there's another piece here incredible check that out guys this uh, very very smooth rounded object also it doesn't look like just a normal boulder or rock guys I don't know what that was part of but it looks very very artificial here we got another one of these disc like objects half buried in the sand guys I've seen so many of these I don't know what they are I don't know, they're about 10 meters across, so I don't know. Check this out, guys, it's uh, bent, I think, at 90 degree angle. It looks like it's bent at 90 degrees, guys, I'm not sure. But uh, it was a partially buried, triangular side. I don't know what this was, about uh, half a meter thick. Okay guys, check this out. Another little entrance way, a little mine guys. These over here look like um, ports or something. Yeah guys, check this out. Straight edge, straight edge and then a bit lower down another piece to it over here. So could that be an opening there guys? And then on top this could have been a, possibly a, a rather large piece of a machine that's been bent, mangled Got uh, patterns to it. Check that out, guys. And uh, smaller features on top. Right angles, straight lines, parallel lines, little dome there. Where really dark is that maybe a hole? Check out this bend over here, too, guys. 90 degree bend. This looks like uh, a pipe. 
So that's it guys, thank you for sticking around to the end. This is the, uh, the entry in my blog. Just to show you guys quickly, you can find all the information, enhanced, zoomed in pictures here. And obviously as always guys, you can uh, click on the smaller images and they'll take you through to the one-to-one -one scale uh, larger images guys so these are from the JP2 cropped out of the JP2 at one-to-one -one scale so you can actually do measurements of these larger images guys so thanks to NASA JPL and University of Arizona for the images and info and guys uh, thanks again for watching thanks for being loyal to uh, new viewers consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell so that you'll be informed as soon as I upload my next video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one